Lecture in ASME Section 5, Non-Destructive Examination Specifically for API 570, API 510 and API 653 exams. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad. He is the General Manager of QTech Arabia LLC. Has experience more than 17 years in oil and gas field. His skills and expertise in welding inspection, non-destructive testing painting inspection, in-service inspection, fitness of service, RBI, and asset integrity management. His professional certification. ASME authorized inspector, AI, boiler, and pressure vessel. ASNT NDT level 3 and 11 methods from ASNT. Certified welding engineer, certified welding educator, certified welding inspector, certified welding supervisor. Certified Welding Sales Representative from AWS Senior Welding Inspector Personal and Painting Inspector Grade 2 from TWI Pressure Vessel Inspector, Process Piping Inspector, Above Ground Storage Tank Inspector, Risk Based Inspection Professional, Corrosion and Materials Professional, Refractory Personnel, Welding Inspection and Metallurgy, Source Inspector Fixed Equipment from API Lead Auditor according to ISO 9001 from IRCA. As per API 570, API 510 and API 653 Exam Administration Publications Effectivity Sheet, 2020. The addition of ASME Section 5 is 2017 applicable to the exam. The following only articles are applicable to the exam. Articles 1. General Requirements. Articles 2, Radiographic Examination Articles 6, Liquid Penetrant Examination Articles 7, Magnetic Particle Examination Articles 9, Visual Examination Articles 10, Leak Testing Articles 23, Section SC 797 only, Standard Practice for Measuring Thickness by Manual Ultrasonic Pulse Echo Contact Method Articles 1, General Requirements Item T110 Scope of the ASME Section 5 This section of the code contains requirements and methods for non-destructive examination, NDE, which are code requirements to the extent they are specifically referenced and required by other code sections or referencing document. These NDE methods are intended to detect surface and internal imperfections in materials, welds, fabricated parts, and components. Item T120 General A. Subsection A describes the methods of non-destructive examination to be used if referenced by other code sections or referencing documents. B. Subsection B lists standards covering non-destructive examination methods which have been accepted as standards. These standards are not mandatory unless specifically referenced in whole or in part in subsection AOR as indicated in other code sections or referencing documents. Where there is a conflict between subsection A and subsection B, the requirements of subsection A take precedence. Continue item T120 General E. The qualification shall be in accordance with their employer's written practice which shall be in accordance with one of the following documents. SNTTC1A, Personnel Qualification and Certification in Non-Destructive Testing, or NCASNTCP189, ASNT Standard for Qualification and Certification of Non-Destructive Testing Personnel. Item T130 Equipment It is the responsibility of the code user, manufacturer, fabricator, or installer, to ensure that the examination equipment being used conforms to the requirements of this code section. Item T150 Procedure A. When required by the referencing code section, all non-destructive examinations performed under this code section shall be done to a written procedure. 
This procedure shall be demonstrated to the satisfaction of the inspector. The procedure or method shall comply with the applicable requirements of this section for the particular examination method. Where so required, written procedures shall be made available to the inspector on request. At least one copy of each procedure shall be readily available to the non-destructive examination personnel for their reference and use. Continue Item T-150 Procedure D. When qualification of the written examination procedure is required by the referencing code section, a qualification demonstration shall be performed prior to acceptance of production examinations. The qualification demonstration shall be 1. Performed under the control and supervision of a Level 3 examiner who is qualified and certified for performing the examination method and technique specified by the procedure, and shall be witnessed by the inspector. The supervising Level 3 may be an employee of the qualifying organization or a subcontractor organization. 2. Performed on a minimum of one test specimen having flaws whose size, location, orientation, quantity, and characterization have been determined prior to the demonstration and are known only by the supervising Level 3 examiner. A. The maximum acceptable flaw size required flaw orientation, and minimum number of flaws shall be as specified by the referencing code section. b. Natural flaws are preferred over artificial flaws whenever possible. Continue Item T-150 Procedure d. 3. The qualification demonstration shall be performed by a Level 2 or Level 3 examiner, other than the supervising Level 3 who is qualified and certified to perform the examination method and technique specified by the written procedure. The procedure shall be considered qualified when the supervising level 3 and the inspector are satisfied that indications produced by the demonstrated procedure effectively reveal the size, location, orientation, quantity, and characterization of the flaws known to be present in the examined test specimen. Item T-160 Calibration A. The organization shall assure that all equipment calibrations required by subsection A and or subsection B are performed. B. When special procedures are developed, the code user shall specify what calibration is necessary, when calibration is required. Item T-170 Examinations and Inspections The word inspector means the authorized inspector who has been qualified as required in the various referencing code sections. The term inspection applies to the functions performed by the authorized inspector, but the term examination applies to those quality control functions performed by personnel employed by the manufacturer. Item T-180 Evaluation The acceptance criteria for the NDE methods in this section shall be as stated in the referencing code section, and were provided in the articles of this section. Acceptance criteria in the referencing code section shall take precedence. Item T-190 Records and Documentation Records and documentation shall be in accordance with the referencing code section and the applicable requirements of this section. Please read the full item from the code. Practice time. Test yourself. Question number one. What is the intent of the NDE methods specified in ASME 5? A. Intended to detect surface and internal defects in materials, welds, fabricated parts, and components. B. Intended to detect surface and internal imperfections in materials, welds, fabricated parts, 
and components. C. Intended to examine all flaws and defects in materials, welds, fabricated parts, and components. D. Intended to examine surface and internal bodies in materials, welds, fabricated parts, and components. The best answer question number 1 as per item T110 is B. Intended to detect surface and internal imperfections in materials, welds, fabricated parts, and components. Question number 2. When NDE requirements of ASME Section 5 are required, who shall be responsible to establish non-destructive examination procedures? A. Manufacturer B. Fabricator C. Installer D. All of the above The best answer question number 2 is per item procedure T150. Is code user so all of the above is correct answer? Question number 3. When required by the referencing ASME code section, how shall all non-destructive examinations performed under ASME section 5 be done? A. To a verbal procedure. B. To a demonstrated procedure. C. To a written procedure. D. To a qualified procedure. The best answer question number 3 is per item procedure T150 is C. First a written procedure and then a demonstrated procedure. Question number 4. Who shall assure that all NDE equipment calibrations required by ASME 5 are performed? A. Inspector B. Code user C. Owner user D. Owner user or designee The best answer question number 4 as per item calibration T160 is B. Question number 5. What does the term inspection apply to in ASME 5? A. The functions performed by the authorized inspector b. The functions performed by the authorized examiner. c. The functions performed by the NDE inspector. d. The functions performed by the NDE examiner. The best answer question number 5 is per item examinations and inspections T170 is A. The best answer question number 5 is per item examinations and inspections T170 is A. Question number 6. What does the term examination apply to in ASME 5? A. Those quality control functions performed by personnel employed by the manufacturer. B. Those quality control functions performed by personnel employed by the owner slash user. C. Those examination functions performed by personnel employed by the manufacturer. D. Those examination functions performed by personnel employed by the owner slash user. The best answer question number 6 is per item examinations and inspections T170 is A. Question number 7. ASNT recommended practice SNTTC1A is A. Manual covering non-destructive examination, and E. Safety procedures. B. Procedure for the visual examination of piping systems. C. Document covering NDE personnel qualifications. D. Document covering NDE procedures.
The best answer question number 7 as per item general T120 is C. Question number 8. Which of the following contain minimum details of examination records for RT procedure? A. Article 1, T120. B. Article 1, T150. C. Article 1, T190. D. Article 2, T230. The best answer question number 8 is per item records and documentation T190 is C. Thank you for watching and waiting us for the next lecture.